Hi guys, welcome down to the channel. Andy Carter here. Thanks very much for checking out the content. And today we're talking about putting and trying to be in control of the areas of the game that we can physically control. And that always generally comes down to setup and also maybe pre-shot routine. So I think it's massively important that we approach every, every golf shot and we control the points that we can control to the best of our ability. So in regards to putting, a lot of people ask me, should I line the golf ball up to my target? Or should I line the golf ball up to the hole? And I often say 100% yes, absolutely, definitely. Because it's the one part of the game, other than the driver, where we can actually decide where we line the golf ball up to. It actually helps us with our alignment. And you all, we all know now the start line in putting is vital. So putting is a combination, a good putter gets a good combination of speed start line and then understanding the break so if we can actually line the golf ball up to where we want the golf ball to start i feel like it gives you a better stroke or a better understanding of how to control the club face as you're coming into impact so this video is all about making sure that you do that to be honest So I've not chosen an easy putt here, okay? I've chosen a downhill left to right putt, which for a right-handed golfer is our nemesis because the ball is below the feet and it often encourages us to kind of keep get the club face open through impact, not for any fault of our own, just through pure, just through feel and the way, the way it affects the body. It's horrible, it's a horrible putt. And it's very easy to then start to use face rotation to close it. However, I've got this golf ball aiming to the left of the hole, okay? So I've got the ball aiming left of the hole, which means for me, I'm gonna hit a dead straight putt left, okay? So I always try and feel that in my mind, I'm always trying to hit a straight putt. I'm just aiming in different directions based on the slope that I'm playing with, okay? Also on the mat there, you'll see that I've got two tees at the end of the mat, they're gates, okay? So that's encouraging me now to not only keep the ball on the line of the of the mat but it's also encouraging me to work the club face square maintain the square club face as i hit the ball and the ball can then roll through the gates i know if i get the ball through those gates it's going to go into the hole there's three levels on the visio mat so again this is why i love the visio stuff because it's so detailed depending on what what level of golf you are if you're if you're a relative beginner use the big gates give yourself a little bit of leeway if you're a kind of more of an elite player scratch golfer use the smallest one and try and get the golf ball through there because again at elite level you've got to be holding a few more putts to kind of keep those scores down so face control is vital i'm using level two because that's my level and just making sure that i can maintain the club face straight through impact and also then get the ball rolling online so what i would definitely intend to do for every single shot i play is kind of get down crouch down i've got this line aiming perfect to where i want it so i've actually got my start line here aiming there so that's my putt i'm hitting a putt to that golf ball i'm hitting a straight putt to that golf ball and every time i line my ball up now i'm going to use the lines i'm just using the pro v1 line of the arrows on the golf ball and i'm going to line them up to that golf ball on the left of the hole so i'm not even looking at the hole i've got no interest in the hole because the slope is going to put the ball into the hole i hope now if i hit the ball too hard on this line the slope's going to have less of an effect and it's going to go straight into the golf ball if i hit the ball too soft the slope's going to have more of an effect and it's going to drop short and right of the hole so i've got to get the still got to get the speed right so as i come into the ball now i put the black line behind the golf ball straight down the line of the arrow i'm going to, I'm going to look in down the line there making sure that i'm always keeping an eye on the golf ball to the left of the hole And there we go. So it was a good pace that it took the break and dropped into the hole. Had I hit that a little bit softer, I actually think the break would have had more of an impact. I would have missed it to the right. So I hit it just about right. Now, this is always a very, very difficult putt for right-handed golfers because the ball's below the feet. So I always feel like the, the club wants to come a little bit more inside and it becomes very easy to push it to the right-hand side, which is it's a horrible feeling. But again, I'm practicing with a good purpose. I'm practicing a putt that's not easy. So I take the setup again. I've got my ball position in the center. I always try and make sure the hands are kind of just slightly behind the ball so I can see a tiny bit of loft. 
as I actually hit the, as I actually hit the putt. That's a personal thing because I tend to get a little bit too much of a forward press going and hit down onto the ball. So that's a little bit of a, a knowing my own fault. So I make sure the hands are slightly behind the ball as I set up. So I see a little bit of loft. Black line of my putter in behind the Pro V1. And just about managed to kind of hold on again. So a good putt. I've aimed it outside left of the hole. I've hit a good putt. I've got it through my gates and it's maintained its line. So I could stand here for a good hour, to be honest, going three, four, four and a half feet away from the hole, downhill left to right. How many times on a golf course will you have this putt? A lot, okay? Practice with purpose. Four foot putts, for me as a scratch golfer, I have them a lot for par if I've chipped on. I may have one for birdie if I've hit a really good approach shot. It's a massively important putt. I don't really feel like golfers should be practicing from over here. What's the point? 20, 20 feet away. What's this? This is not going to help me on the golf course. What it does do to maybe do a couple of them is just start to, start to get a fit, an understanding of how the pace of the greens are. And let me tell you, they're fast. So always practice inside of six feet. Always practice with purpose. Always practice that you want to try and hold the putt. So take your time when you're putting. Get the line, line up to where you feel like you need to hit this putt. In this case, it's going to be still going to be left edge, probably going slightly more up the hill. I often then stand back. I put the line, I put the shaft of my club through the line of the ball as I'm looking. I just look up, trying to draw these straight lines. So I've got that outside the left edge. I've not had a massive look at the break. So I've got that outside the left edge. When I'm doing my stroke here, I'm also looking outside the left edge as well. I'm not really looking at the hole. It's not a straight putt. So I'm looking outside this left edge. I'm going to be really, I think the best word for this is obsessed. I'm going to be really obsessed with making sure the black line of this putter is going through the Pro V1 line, making sure that's perfect. I'm going to check that about three times before I hit my putt. Then I'm going to take my stance parallel. I'm going to have a couple more looks, make sure, my, make sure my putter's in the right place, make sure my grip's comfortable, and now I'm going to try and stabilise the face through impact. Decent putt, and it held its line as well. So be obsessed with where this putter is pointing in relation to the ball, in relation to the target, because this is the most important thing. I see golfers line the feet up first. I often say as a bit of a joke, well, we're not kicking it. It's not important where the feet are. I could line my putter up perfect and have my feet like this and the ball's still going to go in the hole. Okay, so it's massively important that we line the putter up first. Be obsessed with this line at the back of your putter. This is the only shot in golf where you can actually line yourself up so you're, you can't hit the shot and then go, I was aiming the wrong way because here we've got no accountability for it. We are allowed to move the golf ball and aim the golf ball directly at the target that we want to hit. Then we can line our putter up to it. And then if we miss it, if we miss hit it, if we have a poor stroke, if we misread it, that's fine. But what you have done is you've taken one thing out of the equation, which is the one thing that you can definitely control, which is your alignment, okay? So massively important to do that. And I would say, if you don't do it at all, Start with six feet and in. Get comfortable doing it at close range. Then do 10 feet and in. And then once you get outside of 10 feet, personal preference, to be perfectly honest. I was generally, from outside of 10 feet, I pick something out on the green in front of the golf ball to try and roll the ball over rather than lining the line up. I don't feel overly comfortable lining the line up from outside of 10 or 15 feet because it doesn't really look close. You know, when you get over the golf ball, the optical illusion of it all just doesn't sit right with me. So I aim at something in front of the golf ball to send the golf ball over, whether it be a blade of grass or inside of a blemish on the green. So you can start to get build new habits this way, but be obsessed with the line on the putter, the line on the golf ball, and the line towards your target. Guys, thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for checking out the channel. If you are new to the channel, please do hit that subscribe button and I'll see you again very, very soon for more content.